In React Native, you need elements to nicely transition, change, and adapt to user interactions or data changes. Now, the question is, how can you do it simply? Hey everyone, I'm Evening Kid. You might have seen me in different videos about React Native, and today I'm very happy to share with you the great open source work that Software Mention has been doing lately. If you haven't heard about their library Reanimated, it is the most advanced way of creating fast animations in React Native. If you're using React Navigation, for example, it runs Reanimated under the hood for both gestures and animations. Their new version had already highly improved the way you could make your app interactive, and more recently, they have also simplified layout animations. Now first, let's see how you could animate your layout with core React Native. It is actually quite a common use case to have your layout adapting automatically to user changes. Let's say you have a list of tasks and need to add or remove some of them. Well, if a task is removed, you'd want React Native to nicely animate that view out from the screen. And likewise, if one is added, it should not just appear but slowly fade in. This is fairly simple to do with the layout animation API that comes with React Native. In its simplest form, you would just need to call is in, is out before updating your list of tasks, and it would automatically animate the entering and exiting elements. Now, although you can animate changes such as updating an element size, opacity, etc., it comes with its own set of limitations, especially if you're going for a more advanced use case. For example, you couldn't easily animate a view in a certain way before it's removed from the screen without using animated and adding extra code logic. On top of that, you can't animate multiple elements in different ways in one layout change. So if two blocks are leaving the screen at the same time, they would both be animated the same way. And you couldn't say, for example, that one fades in and the other scales up. Again, this would still be possible with animated, but you need more bottle plate for your animations to run in order. All of this could be simpler. And well, this is what reanimated usually does pretty well. So let's see why their new API is much easier for you. The biggest difference is how much control you get over layout animations. Put simply, you can decide which elements should animate upon entering, updating, or exiting the screen, and especially how they should animate. Let's go back to your list of tasks. Here we have simple components that just render these items. You can see two other functions, pop task and insert task at random, which are used to interact with our list state. By default, nothing animates or transitions. Now, to let Reanimated listen to layout changes inside a list, we need to wrap all of these items with a component called Animated Layout. This component allows every animated component within its boundaries to transition in a certain way. Let's jump to our task component and see how we can animate its layout changes. The idea here is to say how our task views should enter the screen. Before going further, we'll need to make each view animated by importing the right helper from Reanimated. So to animate how this view enters the screen, we'll add the entering property and associate an animation to it. Let's say it should slide in from the left to the right, and lucky us, there's a default animation called slide in right that does exactly this. By the way, there are a lot more default animations, and each one of them can be configured easily, as you'll see in a minute. Cool. Now we might want to delay the animation based on its index. So this would create a staggering effect on mounting. Let me show you how it can be done. This sliding right preset animation that we're using can take a delay function. So if I use the index coming from the props to determine the animation delay, we can slide in each task in the order they're coming in. Interestingly enough, you can also decide how the task animates when its layout changes. If we add or remove a task, for example, it should slowly move and that can also be done with reanimated. As we did with the entering property, we'll have a layout prop that takes an animation as well. Here we just want a spring transition that gently moves the view when a new task is added. As there's no preset for this, I'll create one using the layout animation builder called layout and add springify so it turns it into a spring animation. All right, the last thing I want to show you is how you can also decide the way this view can animate 
when leaving the screen. As you might have guessed already, we'll use the exiting property on the animated view that also takes an animation preset. Here we want the view to slide out on the right side of the screen, so let's use slide out right for this. Cool, isn't it? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can really create any type of transition with this new API. All right, if you're feeling curious, these new changes are already available in Alpha. You can find more information on the documentation, which has a lot of examples of what you can do with the new API. It's really well made and the team has put a lot of effort into it. Your feedback is also very much appreciated, so feel free to reach out to them on their official repository. Remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss future updates from Software Mention. Until then, thanks for watching and have a great day.